All right, hello everybody, this is Miss Say, and I'm here with a math video. I'm doing a homework review video. This is the homework assignment for today, March the 29th. Um, the students were to um, complete the questions um, using relative um, everyday items to compare measurements. So let's start off by reading the question. Christina is making macaroni and cheese for her family. Would Christina use one pound of macaroni or one ounce? Now, if I think about my relative um, pounds and ounces, we think an ounce is about the weight of a pencil. So, do we use a pound of macaroni or an ounce of macaroni? So, is it a pencil's worth of macaroni? Or a loaf of bread? And thinking about relatively, a pound of macaroni is the appropriate amount of macaroni. And when you buy a macaroni box, you'll see that it does give you the weight in ounces and pounds. So one ounce would be like one pencil's worth of macaroni, and that is not reasonable. Number 14, which is a better estimate of length for a kitchen table? 200 centimeters, that's 200 of these. Remember, a centimeter is about the um, the width of your finger, that's a centimeter, or 200 meters, which is about the width of a door. So here's my door, and this is a meter. So is the length of a kitchen table 200 of these or 200 of these? Well, the relative answer would be centimeters, so the answer is 200 centimeters. If I were to put 200 fingers together like this, that's about the length of a table. Now, we're not looking for exacts here. We're talking about relative comparisons to things that are about that length. Amy thinks her dog weighs about 15 tons. A ton is a car or an elephant. Is this reasonable? So, does her dog weighing 15 elephants, is that reasonable? The answer is no, it's not reasonable. Because that is equal to 15 elephants. And a dog cannot weigh 15 elephants, a dog can't even weigh one elephant. 16, Dalton used benchmark estimates to get their um, estimates that, that there are more cups in a quart in, um, in one gallon. Is Dalton's estimate reasonable? So he's saying that there are more cups than quarts. So a cup is about this, a quart, this is about a juice bottle like you get from orange juice from um, the gas station. And then obviously a gallon is a gallon of milk or a gallon jug. So are there? does it take more of these to fill this or more of these to fill this? Well, the answer is it takes more cups to fill a gallon than it takes quarts to fill a gallon. Because a quart's bigger, it takes less of those. So for example, it takes four quarts to fill a gallon. That's one quart, two quart, three quarts, four quarts. Within each quart, it takes two cups. So it takes four quarts to fill a gallon, and it takes eight cups to fill a gallon. So it takes more cups to fill this gallon, so yes, it is reasonable. Yes, it is reasonable because <clears throat> it takes eight cups to fill a gallon and four quarts to, or I'm not put and, I'm gonna put verses, four quarts to fill a gallon. So it takes eight of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
but it only takes four of these to fill the same thing. Now, it wants to know if it takes more. It's not asking which one is bigger, guys, so we need to keep that in mind. It wants to know which one takes more. It takes eight of these to fill this. It only takes four of these to fill this. Test, test prep, last question. Which is best estimate for a dose of medicine? Remember, a dose of medicine is given to you in those little small cups that are about this big. They kind of look like this. So, now, it has to be liquid. There are two of these on here that I can get rid of because they are not dealing in liquid measurements. Meters is length. Meters is length. So, C and D I can get rid of right now. A milliliter is a eyedropper full of medicine or a pipette. A liter is a water bottle that you normally have. So, which is the best es estimate for a dose of medicine? Is it two um, pipettes or two droppers full of medicine? Or is it two water bottles full of medicine? And the answer is two pipettes or two droppers full of medicine. This is like two bottles of water, like your normal 16.9 um, ounces of water, that's a liter. That's like two of those full for one dose. You see how it says a dose? It doesn't say a container, it says a dose. All right, boys and girls, I went ahead and went over your homework. That is your video for tonight. Remember, we are doing relative comparisons. Um, this is not exact. We will get into conversions um, later on in the unit. Um, hope this video helps. Thanks, and have a good day.